Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. In today's video, we will explain to you the out-of-state purchasing process. A subscriber asked, why did we purchase our RV out-of-state instead of in-state? We live in Connecticut. Campers in RV in Union, Connecticut sell Pleasure Way RVs but we bought our RV from Fretz RV in Pennsylvania. We went with Fretz RV because we met our salesman, Rick Hand, at the Hershey RV show in 2019. This happened to be the year that Pleasure Way came out with the Ontour 2.0 and Ontour 2.2. We continued to stay with Fretz because Fretz was the only RV dealership that had a new Ontour on site for us to test drive. Our salesman was so awesome. He spent so much time allowing us to look at the many Pleasure Way models that they had on site. Thank you, Rick Hand. What to expect on the bill of sale. Here is an example. See the top number? That is the price of the RV you agreed to, plus the dealer cost. In this case, the dealer cost is $4,000. This number will vary from dealer to dealer. The 5,000 is the required deposit amount. If you cancel your purchase, you won't get this deposit back. We recommend that you find a dealer that does not ask for you to put down more than this amount. What is the final amount to bring when picking up the RV? Call your salesperson to get the final amount. It should be the final sales amount you both agreed to, plus all dealer fees and document fees, minus your deposit. The unpaid amount is what you will need to bring with you when you pick up the RV. That amount will have to be in a bank cashier's check, not a personal check. You don't pay tax now. You will pay tax when you register your RV in your state. Before you pick up your RV, be sure to add your RV to your insurance and bring the insurance card with you. We added our RV to our AAA car insurance and also to AAA roadside assistance. When we picked up the RV, we rented a one-way car rental so we can ride the RV back together. There is an enterprise car rental across from Fretz RV. Because we were renting on short notice, there were no cars available at Enterprise. Instead, we rented from Hertz. It was not a good experience for us because the car we rented gave us both a splitting headache from the cleaning product they used to clean the car because it had been a smoker's car. It was the only car available because of our short notice. When you arrive at the dealer, you will sign many papers and you'll be given a thick package. After signing, your salesperson will walk you through your new RV. If the walkthrough is not thorough, you can come and watch our video here. Make sure you are given two sets of keys before you leave the dealer. You will drive away with a temporary license plate. Registration varies by state. To register your RV in your state, you will need to have these documents with you. Registration form, bill of sale, sales agreement, certificate of origin from Pleasure Way, certificate of origin from Ford, odometer disclosure statement, proof of insurance for your RV. These documents will be mailed to you after you pick up your RV. These documents took less than a week to arrive at our house. Before showing up to the DMV, we had to schedule an appointment online. You will pay your RV tax at the DMV. You might need to sit down when you hear the number. We paid north of $10,000 in tax. The whole process at the DMV took only about an hour. This was such an improvement over past performance 
that Pavan left a positive feedback note. Tips after you get the RV. When you pick up your RV, it will have a strong new car smell or off-gassing smell. What we did was open both windows and turn on the fan at 20% and we leave it on 24 seven. Don't worry about the rain. The fan closes by itself when it senses rain. It took many weeks for the smell to go away. To this day, we still leave the fan on, especially on a really hot day to keep the air circulating so the RV won't get too hot. When we park the RV in our driveway, we plug into house power using a 15 amp circuit. This provides enough power to keep the battery charged and the refrigerator running. You can learn a lot from joining Facebook groups. Here are some of the groups. This group you can only join after you own a Pleasureway. This was us babbling after we registered our RV. So, what did we just finish doing? So now we got registered in Connecticut plates. Yay! Yay! And what was the experience? Well, you have to go online at the DMV and make an appointment. Yeah. They're like every 10 minutes. Okay. I, uh, I thought that meant that, you know, you'd probably get there and then come right in. But mm -hmm. in fact, when we showed up, there was uh, 15 uh, tickets in front of us. When you go in, they give you a ticket number. Mm -hmm. But that translated to about a half hour wait, I guess, which considering it's DMV is probably <laughs> you know, a good result. Yeah, uh, usually you spend an all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a good system well, that yeah. they have. And you no, know, uh, even though even at the door they said, well, you only need one of you. We really needed both of us at the window because you can mm. answer half the questions and I can answer the other half of the questions. Mm -hmm. Like they needed to see the insurance card. Oh, we totally Which we forgot hadn't brought in that. from here because I don't think it listed as on there what they needed to see, but I may have missed that. Fortunately, yeah. it's. It's on available online, and I, I had it got to it pretty quick. You know, time today. Yeah. Yep. And uh, they asked if we wanted to sit down first before they told us the total of the tax. <laughs> We're like, wait a minute. Which is, you know, a big number. State of Connecticut, it's seven and a half percent for any purchases over fifty thousand dollars instead of six and a half percent. So. Uh, Ouchie. Yeah. We're going to have to let one of the kids go. Yeah, we're going to have to get them together and say we have to let one of you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so what, um, when we purchase, we get, what do we get? They mail us from Fred's RV bill of sales. Bill of sale, um, certificate of origin. From Pleasure Way and from Ford. Yeah, so there were really two of them then. Right. right. Yeah. And then we get the odometer. Yep, I wanted to know the original odometer, which for us was 38 miles, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to fill out, of course, the mm -hmm. Connecticut form. Yeah. And, uh, it's 38 miles because Pleasure Way towed the RV. Yeah, they so don't they drive say, it to the dealership. They right. We transport just, it there. Yeah. Which is very nice, yeah. yeah. And then what? Yep. And uh, so you were nervous about coming uh, to DMV. I, I do not like dealing with and this paperwork and waiting. I just, I don't. This comes from you, you, many years of, of sitting actually for hours waiting for DMV. So right. I guess compared to that, today was handled very quickly. Yeah, and the lady we had, her name she was, was very pleasant. Touring, Tor, Tor, Tor Lynn, Lynn, Tor w. Lynn. W. Yeah. She was wonderful. It was nice. So yeah. she's yeah. the one that said, "You may want to brace yourself before I tell you what you owe us." <laughs> Are you <laughs> ready for the ready? tax? Let's sit down. <laughs> you want to sit down? We're like, yes. Let us breathe first. <laughs> she, she's like, a, a, I double checked it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was a, a good DMV experience, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, hard to believe, but yeah, things have changed from yeah. over the years. Yeah. Oh, uh, here in Connecticut, we have uh, two plates. Yeah. Two plates. Yeah. And we do not have a mounting kit on the front for this. We do. It's in the no, glove we don't have it on the front for this. Oh. Oh, we don't. It's in the glove compartment. Oh, so okay. someone's going to have to drill holes in our brand new car in the bumper. Oh, that's not going to be me. So I'm electing you. <laughs> no. No? No. Yeah, no, we, they provided a, a holder for the plate. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, good. Time to go get something to eat. That's all for this video, folks. Have a nice day.